When I first started building tiny houses, I had a few odd ideas, and one was this. The fortune cookie. This house is notably small at 18 feet long and lightweight at just over 7,000 pounds. However, it is a totally functional living space. The story goes like this. I was approached by a woman by the name of Kira. She had quit her bank job and was ready to live closer to her dreams. She had the amazing talent of creating perfectly crafted and colorful hair extensions. Her designs were sought after by belly dancers, performers, and other creative types. And so, Kira decided to downsize to pursue her craft. We met at a cafe in Olympia, Washington to talk about her house. I showed her a tiny sketch drawn on a tiny scrap of paper, and she immediately said yes. And thus, the fortune cookie was born. So, how is the fortune cookie put together? The original was laid out boat builder style by creating full size patterns on the shop floor. I used those patterns to cut the curved rafters. And when I put them up, the rafters were very, well, flimsy until the plywood shell went on and then the structure became incredibly rigid. Think of it like an eggshell. It's strong because it's curved. The shape of the fortune cookie is nothing new. It is a variant of the Gothic arch, but it also resembles a type of A-frame cottage that was used in mountainous regions. 
The original fortune cookie tiny house inspired a few other tiny house structures, and even one birdhouse. Some offshoots were built by me, and some by other folks. All in all, I'm glad to see other cookies popping up in the world. The fortune cookie might be my favorite tiny house design to date, or at least the one closest to my heart. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more new house designs and video tours. Finally, if you're setting out on your journey of building a tiny house for the first time, the one thing I'd like to say is this, don't forget to have fun. Here's to all of us building zanier and more creative house designs. Ciao.